Hey guys, have you ever wondered where the best place to put a reaction wheel was? I've heard all kinds of things, from doesn't matter, to it should be in the center of mass, to you know, out towards the edge of the craft for the best leverage. So I wanted to run some tests to see exactly where the best place was, or if there even was a best place. So I created this craft, it has 300 tons of ore on it, and we're going to put it up in space with reaction wheels in the center, on the edges, and also lopsided all on one side. So the top left is center, top right is on the edges, and the bottom has both reaction wheels on the one side. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a 180 degree turn from radial out to radial in, and time it. And I put these all together at the same time, so it wouldn't take forever, because this thing turns like a brick, because it pretty much is a brick. But as you see, most of them are turning, or they're all turning at pretty much the same speed. And sure enough, when we get to the end, we'll see they all take about 45 seconds to do a full 180 rotation. You'll also notice that no matter where the reaction wheels are, they're all rotating along the same point of axis. And that point of axis is the center of mass. So for most applications, it doesn't seem like your reaction wheel placement really matters at all. But I've also heard that Sometimes on a very long ship, it makes a big difference. So I created just this ridiculously long thing and put a reaction wheel way on one end. And sure enough, when you start using the reaction wheel, it starts going crazy with the uh, you know, swing, swinging back and forth, wobbling around, and generally just being a huge pain to you know, fly around. But it will still spin around. Um, and as long as the Kraken doesn't break it or anything, we are pretty much fine. Um, so I took this craft and I put it back in the lab and moved the center, the reaction wheel, to the center. And just went to see, you know, if that made a big difference. And, lo and behold, yes it does. And the reason is because you're applying the force more towards the center instead of leveraging it towards the end. So you're not going to get the weird, you know, spaghetti wiggling like you would since you're keeping your rotation more towards center of mass. But you can see there's still some wiggle. And, uh, you know, if you leave it there just trying to stay in the 180, it will just keep wiggling and wiggling. Uh, never really settle down. So still not the best solution. Um, here I up the physics warp up so you can really see this thing can still really get wobbly even with the reaction wheel more towards center of mass. So I decided, you know what, let's go put this back on towards the end and just try putting a couple auto struts. Just two auto struts on either end, uh, root it to, or set to the root. And put it back in space and let's do a rotation. And it's perfect. Mm, it's rotating without any kind of wobble it's spinning great doesn't matter that the reaction wheel is way on one end so it seems that the, the placement only really matters if you have a flimsy vehicle otherwise you're applying the same force to the same vehicle with the same center of mass point so it's not going to matter where your reaction wheel is anyways hope that clears things up for you